All right, here's my first attempt at a daily vlog. Daily's kind of ambitious. Weekly, monthly, quarterly, we'll see. So just giving you a peek into the life of a home inspector, today we are heading out to a new construction. And it never fails on a new construction. I always find things that they do right, that they do extremely well, and things that just fall through the cracks sometimes. And that's what you've got to remember as a home buyer. When you're buying a new construction, remember that your builder is not out to get you, typically. They herd cats for a living. Contractors, cats, same thing. But anyway, let's head out to this first house and I'll show you a couple of things that I find on new construction that you need to be on the lookout for and how you should react to these things and just how big of a deal that they are. That way you can have some greater context to these issues when you're buying new construction. And we're here. All right, let's go. Come on. Woo, girl, you need to get clean. Ah, you think darkness is your ally. I was born in it, molded by it. Oh, got a leaky shower head. Check and make sure the commode is secured. Rock it left to right. Uh-oh, a little bit loose. Easy fix, just tighten up the bolts at the base and you're good to go. Time to check some outlets. This is the GFCI. Bam. All right, now time for the electrical panel. Looking pretty good. Huh. Thermostat don't work. What is going on here? Yep, that'd be why. Always pack batteries. Look at that, it's working. I wonder if this is one of those Bluetooth thermostats that you can just use like this. Ah, dang it. No grass outside, but we don't know what grass is because it's West Texas. All right, this is a pretty common one. Missing rust-proof paint on the window lintels outside. All right, so this is what you want to be looking for. This kind of stuff up here on your lintels, this is above a door, but it's basically the same thing. You paint that lintel to make sure that it's not going to rust and you're not going to get damage to the mortar up above it and the brick, which is going to get loose over time. Really easy fix. We got an expansion joint here in the brick that needs to be caulked up. So what those expansion joints are for is they are meant to allow the brick to expand and contract over time because heat and pressure from the outside is going to cause that material to expand and contract. That's why on older homes you typically see these straight vertical cracks on the brick exterior. That's because they don't have any control joints. But you want to make sure that you caulk them because you're going to get insects getting in, water intrusion, all kinds of stuff like that. Make sure to use caulk, not mortar. Because if you use mortar, mortar does not expand and contract very well. Ah, but something I've noticed, the air conditioner hasn't kicked on yet. So let's go back outside and check that out. All right, here we go. All right, so the breaker's on, the thermostat's hooked up and it's got batteries, but this unit still isn't kicking on. Check the disconnect. Ah, that's our problem. We ain't got no fuse. Kinda need one of those to run your air conditioning, don't you? All right, let's check out the furnace. Top up on the roof. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. There we go. Mm. All right, so overall, we got a pretty good looking roof up here. There's really not much to go over. New construction roofs tend to be pretty good anyway. You always want to make sure that the roof vents are nice and secure. That's a good thing to check on. Make sure to kick the plumbing vents once or twice. Make sure they're looking good. I've seen these fall off into the roof before. All right, I've had enough of this. Let's get back inside. Whew. Much better. All right, that's a wrap. Woo! All right, here we are. So that was fun. So really, overall, that was not a very bad house. That was a pretty common new build, believe it or not. There's always going to be things that fall through the cracks. Because as I said, builders herd cats for a living. 
So when you see these things come across on the inspection report, don't immediately assume that the builder's out to get you or the builder's incompetent or anything like that because sometimes stuff just isn't finished and that's really all it is. And the system of having a builder, an inspector, and a realtor to help you out during these kinds of transactions is really just a system of checks and balances or even a system of accountability really because at the end of the day we're all here trying to get you the best product. The realtor's trying to find you the perfect house, the builder's trying to build you a good house, and the inspector is there to double check and make sure that everything's done properly. So always get your new builds inspected. If you like this video and found value in it, consider subscribing, dropping a like, and even a comment down below. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm with noticing small channels like mine, and I hope to bring you more of this content in the future. Peace.